So teaching your new Doberman puppy its name might seem like an absolute given, but when you think about it, how do you actually teach a new Doberman puppy its name? Well, don't worry, because that is exactly what I'm going to help you with in today's video. Welcome back to the Femre Doberman Show. If you are new here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO here at FemreCanineLeaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you could ever dream of knowing about the incredible Doberman and then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Doberman companions. So if you love Dobermans as much as we do here at Fenrir, start by hitting that subscribe button and turning on that notification bell so you never miss a future Doberman video. Now, teaching your new Doberman puppy, or any puppy's new name for that matter, is one of the most exciting parts of getting a new puppy. You've finally decided on the name, you think it's incredible, but how do you actually teach the puppy its name? Again, it seems like one of those things that it's a bit of a given, but as a canine behaviorist and working in the dog training field, I can tell you that it's one of the most common places where people fall at a very early hurdle. And what we need to know before we delve into how we do it is why we do it. And you have to understand that all all dogs have zero concept that they have a name. They don't have names in between themselves and there's no way that we can actually teach them that they have a name associated with them as a being, the way that we do as humans. Dogs interact through communication and scent, but absolutely no way of letting each other know through any kind of verbal marker that they have what we would class as a name. Therefore, as good high-level canine leaders, we have to understand that the dog's name in terms of our relationship with them and our communication with them is nothing more than an additional command. It's no different to teaching our dog sit, stay, heal, recall, or any other kind of tricks where you add a verbal marker to that desired behavior and teaching the dog its name is no different whatsoever. And what you as a high level canine leader want to achieve with teaching your dog its name is actually teaching it the command that this verbal marker that we have decided is your name means nothing more than stop what you're doing, look up to me because there is another command quickly following. Let's put that into some real world scenarios. When do you actually use your dog's name? Well, maybe you're talking to another human and you're referring to the dog by its name rather than dog or the Doberman or any kind of other thing you might want to call it. That's fine. There's no communication with the dog there. We can do that. But when we're actually communicating with our dogs, the only time we ever utilize their name is to either ask them to stop doing something, which you shouldn't do, or asking them to do something. For example, let's go with Dave the Doberman. Dave, come. Dave, sit. Dave, please stop running into the traffic because you're about to die. All of those situations require Dave, stop what you're doing. Look at me because I'm about to ask you to do something else. And that is what, as high level canine leaders, we need to associate with that name that is actually nothing more than another verbal marker, the same way we might utilize any other kind of form of obedience. So, to do that, it's very straightforward. We cover it at length in our Perfect Puppy course, we feature it every single day from the second you bring your puppy home as part of our Fenrir basic obedience drill and all we're going to do is we're going to use a lure mark and reinforce based principle you lure the dog you lure their eyes with a piece of food you can get it in front of their nose and we can distract them what we do is we get that food and we lure them up to our nose waiting for them to look up to for us now obviously they're probably going to be looking at the food to start with but we get that desired response of lift your head up and look up towards us as soon as they do that and we get them looking up, we mark that behavior with Dave. So, lure, 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 eye contact, Dave. Yes, good Dave, good Dave. And we reinforce that behavior. We lure, we mark, we reinforce. We do that as part of our Fenrir basic obedience drill. We repeat that and repeat that. And eventually we can do it with a finger being the lure and we remove food from the equation. Maybe we've got food in one hand and we guide them with a finger up. Dave. We get the eye contact, puppy's looking up to us, we mark it, yes, good. Then they get access to the food and slowly we remove cues away from it over time and we're left with the command of Dave or whatever name obviously you choose means look up to me for guidance and direction reinforcement and praise comes. And then as we develop the other obedient skills, we utilize that. So it might be Dave, that's part one, sit down, yes, good, excellent. 
and we layer it up and it can become a lovely two-piece command and wherever we are and again it's one of those t tools that not only is it excellent to be able to say Dave and you get it's a lovely part of your relationship, but it also is so important for the safety of your Doberman puppy to ask them, whatever you're doing, stop that, please. Dave, yes, what do you need? I now need you to do this. I need you to come away. I need you to sit. I need you to heal. I need you to lie down. I need you to go to your place. It all comes from that guidance and direction is absolutely crucial as part of our relationship. I always preach about being a high level canine leader that has a canine companion that respects you as that leader that always wants to look up to you for guidance and direction. And we can help them, we can set them up for success in an extremely positive, proactive and preemptive way by teaching their name the correct way rather than setting them up to fail like so many people accidentally do so don't be one of them people set your doberman up for success and i promise you you're well on your way to being a high level canine leader with that perfect canine companion that you've always dreamed of now i hope you found that useful if you did hit that like button subscribe if you are new here so that you never miss a future episode of the fenrir doberman show